It's been a long while, but I thought we could finally go back and look at some Tony Hawk's games. We did one to four in quite quick succession, and then I got distracted by Blast Entertainment games. So here we are, back with Tony Hawk's Underground. Again, another game I was really excited to get my hands on, and there's a lot in here. So uh, let's just jump in and start the story mode. So that, that's kind of the biggest change for Tony Hawk's Underground, is that they add a, quite an elaborate story mode, a career mode, that then goes on to define what the other Tony Hawk games in the future would be like. Because, yeah, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, American Wasteland, Project A, all those games had kind of quite elaborate campaigns. Check it, man. Muska is actually coming to this dump for a skate demo. An actual characters. There we go. There's a character creator, as usual. Pre-made skaters. Oh, these are just... <laughs> it's the stereotype machine. Start with this guy. Uh... Do I, am I really that bothered? I could get rid of this Neversoft logo off his shirt, maybe. What are the logos we got? Yeah, let's let's keep up with the McDonald's branding. Oh, Nokia. <laughs> Connecting people. Yeah, let's have that. Interesting. All sorts of weird and wonderful stuff in here. You know, I just... I need another Nokia logo. Cargo camo. Snow. Alright, let's not worry about this too much, because if you literally spend all day in here... I've got to change that hair, though. There's some... I don't know what it is about Tony Hawk games. There's some really bad haircuts. Go. Oh man, that's some real 2002 spikes. Yeah, Mohawk's alright. Uh, that's more like it. Uh, we give him a stupid beard. How is that beard? It doesn't need to cover the chin. I was hoping for like a big must mastodon beard, but I guess their tech didn't cover that. That looks dumb because <laughs> the uh, the pits con connecting it to the the hair that's no longer there. All right, all right, okay, let's. Let's get on with it. He's got his Nokia logo and well, his green mohawk. Set up. Sort of. Looks like that thing's held together with duct tape. Let's go skate. So yeah, they, they seriously improve their animations and the cutscenes look. They animate really well. They emote really well. You know, it's not a great story in any sense of the word, but coming from where they were in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, where they were kind of they were getting away from the two second two minute runs with just goals and then getting into little Holy little story hell. sections. What a dump. At least it has some killer spots. The old pool down by the high school, Scabland, the drainage ditch on the south side of town, and Elm Street, our own little strip of paradise, complete with drug dealers who hate skateboarders. Yeah. As you can tell, there's a whole lot more character to this than there was in um, what up, Eric? Hey, those other games. I was just skating, minding my own, and the dealers grabbed my board. My knee's wrecked. Could you grab him for me? Oh man. So here we go. Here, I'll hold your deck. There's sections without skateboards. And yes, they are this awkward. Oof. 
yeah, the platforming is bad. Uh, it's quite handy in certain circumstances because it means that you don't have to uh, try and get up to up staircases on a skateboard or go all the way around. You can just get off the skateboard and run. But yeah, this is where their engine starts to be a problem because they're trying to make it do a lot more than I think it was ever built for. There we go. So you can actually use it in combos. It's like a caveman, so you can literally jump up. Do a manual, get off the board, get back on the board. So it's quite cool for uh, for keeping strings of combos together. Should we go see another type of gameplay change? Which is also not great. You wanna roll with the street warriors? You gotta pay the cost to be the boss. Alright, cause I'm such a sweetheart, I'll give you a chance. Take my car and cruise past all the cones. And get Make it in your in. Some driving. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know why they went down this route with, with driving. Luckily there's not much of it. Because it's not very good. Oops. The driving feels very floaty and weird, but hey. There's still skateboarding in here, that's the, the important thing. And this stuff is fleeting. But yeah, for, for the people who just wanted skateboarding and no fluff, this is where the fluff started coming in. I feel like it wasn't until, I mean, we'll get to the other games, but it wasn't until Project 8 where this stuff got out of the way again. You're nuts, Junior. Yep. Well, well, someone's... He's going to teach me how to revert, which I already know how to do. Again, it's just tutorialising. That's it. Wanna bet? That's more like it. Yes, this is also where the combos just get ridiculous. You can start doing the ridiculous, do a grind and then just keep mashing buttons. Or start doing, do a manual and start uh, mashing the buttons as well. Ah, balls. Screwed that up. Whatever. But, you know, the core gameplay is still totally intact. It still feels as good as it ever did. I think the combo system starts letting you get away with more uh, fluffy gameplay. Yeah. Bet you are. Hey, since you punks aren't in school, why don't you go put up some flyers? Did I miss that one up there? One there. Hey, Muska's demos. He did a thing. Hooray! Yeah, there's a lot more interruption as well. Check this out. It's louder than a Metallica concert in there. I also had bulletproof siding put in and seven screens for my DVD player. DVD. Chillin' chillin'. 
Where? Australia? See? That's how you hook it up. I mean, what's he done? Pop down a few rails and he's traveling the world, living like a king. Yes, with his DVD player. Wow, my... This spot looks cool. So you can get you usually get these score challenges with just manual tricks. Hey, what's up, man? That was a sick line you had back there. Whoa, Chad Muska? I'm a huge fan. Dang, man, that's some ghetto ride you got rolling, though. Yeah, but I'm pretty broke. I gotta make it last. I hear you, man. <laughs> Connecting people. <laughs> I have no money, no place to stay, nothing, man. Until my first shop sponsor hooked me up. So why don't you head down to your shop, check out their riders, and try to get hooked up. And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Here's a Chad Musker branded skateboard. Right you want to be sponsored by a skate shop? You'll need to impress the riders on his team. So yeah, it's split up into chapters. There's kind of different, different objectives. You end up going to different locations. But it's set out more like a traditional story you mode. Be sponsored, huh? Yeah, sure. Okay then. Let's see what hmm. you can do using. A Twenty thousand points. Then I sleep. Maybe I shouldn't be playing on the normal difficulty. Watch it. You're local, right? I am local. Dude, I go to school with your sister. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah, some of the voice acting is not great. I will say that. Oh, oh it's gone bad. I think it makes you do it in one-one combo, does it? What? It took me six. <laughs> to hit that line. Yeah, did you hit it with a, a bale in the middle though? Slayer in the background, it kind of sounds like it. Oh, it's SOD, okay. I've got the music turned down on purpose. Mainly to A, so I don't get distracted, and B, copyright. These games are a nightmare for, uh, <laughs> for YouTube. Whoa, Mike V. Hey kid, just out skating? Cool, me too. <laughs> Special than Land of Flamingo. Nailed it. Let's speak to Sean. Let's see if you got the cojones to impress Stacy Peralta. Nicely done. To transfer, come. Oh, it's. Nice. Now spine back. Wait, spine transfer off the roof. Did I? I screwed that up. Whoop. There we go. Just to hit R two too soon. And the lighting's changed. Sean, what are you doing out here? The dealers took off with some gear from the shop. Where'd they take it? Yeah, left it on. Looks like I'm gonna have to sneak over to Elm Street and get it back. Most of them are pretty fried, so it should be easy to stay out of earshot. Wait, kid, it's too dangerous. Uh, I want to climb up the. Yeah. That went well. I'm sure you have to climb up that building. Can't, there you go. The platforming is just ropey enough that it's quite tricky to... Uh... Nice. 
No one can see you if you run across the buildings. Eric, hey, what are you doing here? Awesome. Uh... What about you? Me? Oh, yeah. I gotta finish doing something here. <laughs> It's a real strange campaign. Uh, I'm looking for the owner, Mr. Peralta. Wait, are you THE Stacy Peralta? That's me. You the guy my skaters have been talking about? Well, I hope so. I'd like to be sponsored by your shop. Yeah, so would everybody else. I'll tell you what. Make me a sponsor me video. Show me what makes you different than Bobby B down the street, okay? And please don't hand me anything from the same old spots in New Jersey, dude, because I've seen it all. Done. No local spots and different tricks. Alright. So, you start touring the world. But, that's not all there is. So let's bail out of this and go and have a look at the other mode. Because it's been a while since I've played that and I can barely remember it. There's a high score mode as well, where I get to play as Tony Hawk, so that's good. So you have to play the story mode to unlock the levels, which is unfortunate, but we can at least see what this mode entails. I can't remember if this adheres to the old two minute rule. I think this is like a, they basically built the two minute gameplay out of the same levels that they use for the story mode, which is kind of cool. Or, this is just a free skate mode. And you have to start a high score run. Yeah, here we go. It's not quite the same. So the problem is, I'm struggling to remember which game's which. There's definitely a game in the series where they... Uh, um, they actually let you basically recreated what you had in Tony Hawk's 3 as a side mode. I think it might be American Wasteland actually, come to think about it. Hey, when we get to that we'll uh, we'll investigate. As we do. But uh, yeah, that is Tony Hawk's Underground. I enjoyed this at the time and I've gone back to it a few times over the last, wow, what, nearly 15 years? 13, 14 years. Um, I don't think it holds up as well as some of the other stuff. And the skating still feels good. I, I think the, the combo additions they make are good. But the, the story gets in the way of learning to skateboard. And, I, you know, the walking around stuff, I think it's a functional addition which they overuse a lot in this game but uh yeah yeah that's Tony Hawk's Underground I, I don't have much more to say other than I could sit here grinding on these rails all day so it's pretty damn good but uh yes it hasn't aged particularly well 